The next modality is the combi guide, where we really set the case up for success. Let's go through that whole protocol. Combi guide is, in our opinion, the, the ideal way to go through a grammetry case. With combi guide, uh, we work with you to determine uh, prosthetic thickness, implant placement, position, depth, rotation, etc. Everything. This is part of our Chrome guided smile system. Uh, but in this case, it's just osteotomy, placement, and bone reduction leveling. Uh, and the, the metal, as you'll see, serves as the constant. We'll kind of go through that. How do you start one of these cases? This would be just like any guided surgery case you would start with Rodentalab. Comb beam, teeth apart, uh, um, iOS scans, upper, lower, in occlusion, and photographs. This was a, uh, a, a, a case completed by Dr. Uh, Grant Olson, one of, our, one of our KOLs, our key KOLs for Chrome Guided Smile. And, uh, and he was uh, nice enough to share this, uh, this nice workflow with us. So thank you very much for that, uh, Dr. Olson. Uh, this uh, this uh, image here, this is a case being planned. So we, we took all the records, we designed the case, got it ready for the online meeting. We met Dr. Olson online, planned the implants, planned everything about the case. And then based on that, we fabricated uh, the pin guide, the fixation base, the osteotomy guide, and, and off he went to surgery. And repeat on the slide, these are the tools you need, okay? And then with a, with a combi guide, let's go through the process. So we already have pre-surgical files. You uploaded those to us to make the surgical guide, so you don't need to scan. We already have these at the laboratory. All right, step one, the pin guide. This patient has already been reflected above the metal. Okay, so full labial reflection, pin guide goes in, seats the fixation base. Once the fixation base is seated, you will capture a labial uh, uh, digital impression of this. And you'll capture just the teeth, the bone, and the fixation base. If you, if you find there's an issue with this, you can always put screws in the pallet, uh, the retromolar pads, wherever. Let, let's not worry about that. We know this works. Okay, that's your first scan. Now, once it's digitized, teeth come out, bone is leveled down to the fixation base. We, we, we carefully plan this as the bone reduction level. Okay, then I, I put this in here just as the reminder. Before with teeth, after without teeth, the constant is the fixation base. This is the tad, this is the screw. Uh, this is everything you need to preserve the bite. Next step, osteotomy goes in, implants are in, multi-units are placed, and now uh, we have even a, better, uh, even a better constant. Okay, something easy to scan, now the teeth are gone, which is the carrier guide. The carrier guide sits on the fixation base. This is a nice, tra nice transition for digitally acquiring from the opti splint or from the healing collar out to the fixation base. Okay, so you would scan this platform, not all of it, just some of it, and this won't be in a clear color. It'll, be, it'll have some texture to it when it arrives, and, uh, and you scan it, very scannable. You're not scanning blood and uh, movement underneath. So kind of skipping back and forth here between live surgery and visualization here. Uh, but at this point, you have an option, okay? When, when, when this is in the mouth, you can put healing collars on this, put healing collars, put the carrier guide, and scan away. And then you've captured, all right, the position this is not for implant placement. This is not for uh, componentry. This is only for uh, um, preserving the bite and transitioning back, okay? Now you have an option here. You can either scan the opti splint in the mouth or you can scan the healing collars. You have a choice, whichever one you wanna do, both work. And at that point, you're finished. And this is all that's uploaded to the right of the green bar because the left of the green bar, we already have this scan. This is what we used, as mentioned before, for the planning of the guide. So this is one, two, three. Scanning uh, the, 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 the file of the fixation base and the teeth, the file of the fixation base, the carrier guide, and the um, healing collars, and then a scan of the opti splint outside the mouth, either with an iOS or with a lab scanner. Totally optional, this is totally optional. I'm throwing this in there because if you have a lab scanner, you can go to whatever degree you want to go to a final zirconia at any point. Okay, now this, this image here could be on top of here, perfectly fine, scan it in the mouth. Uh, but 
as we know, we want to keep adding more and more accuracy. So these would be the three scans that you upload. Um, uh, Dr. Uh, Taran Agarwal uh, completed a case uh, last week, and he is um, he, he is one of our KOLs as well for this uh, for this process. He, if you know T Bone, you know his experience. He is um, on the on the top tier A list. He is our KOL, one of our KOLs for Chrome, for Chrome Guide, Smile, for Combi Guide, uh, for lots of things, and. He is going through this process with us with Grammetry. He's adopted Grammetry. In fact, you'll see on the last slide, um, we are having a two-day event with him and his partner in two different locations teaching this protocol. I'll, I'll talk about that. Okay, thank you very much for documenting this case, uh, T-Bone. Let's, let's just real quickly, let's cover what he did. Okay, we went through the whole process of designing the guide, all those first stages, and we'll go through all that. But in surgery, once he set the fixation base, he took out his um, prime scanner, he scanned the uh, fixation base, scanned the teeth to preserve the bite, right? To pre um, so that we have, uh, so we have the, the tooth position, we have the fixation base. And then he went through the whole process, the whole surgery, put the opti splints in, looted them together, scanned again uh, with his scanner. Look at the beautiful scans that that scanner takes. It's, it's really incredible. It's really one of the best out there. Um, and those were the two scans that he needed. That's it. Now, I, I know we're going to teach an extra oral scan uh, moving forward, uh, but this is how he did it, high degree of accuracy. And uh, this is what he sent us on the day of surgery, full face, full smile, uh, left and right images. Now, we, of course, we already had these because we worked out the whole combi guide. So everything on the left we already had. Um, and on the right is what's uploaded on the day of surgery, the STLs. All right, and based on that and his... Uh, lovely photograph. We designed the prosthesis behind the lips, within the smile. All right, that's almost mandatory at these at, at this phase. And let's just go through the th through the layers. So, so we have a prosthesis already designed, but here we are. That's uh, middle of surgery, picking up the fixation base and the teeth, scanning the opti splint in the mouth, bringing it together with the opposing because we have the fixation base and designing the prosthesis, okay? Very important. Now, let me just, just to clarify, in case you're, just for, for protocol, when he scans this here, this scan, this scan also includes the bite, right? We want the opposing teeth. Now, do, do we have to? We don't necessarily have to because we have this scan at the laboratory, and we can follow this bite registration that we've already, already made. So it's an optional scan. You can take a, a bite registration in surgery. Not always the easiest thing to do, but that's an option. Okay, bite or no bite during surgery.